Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com here today and today we have an app review for you and today's app review is what's called Face The Music. Now Face The Music is an app that's available in the App Store for 99 cents and what this will do is it'll update your status on your Facebook and Twitter to uh, whatever music you're listening to at that particular time through your iPod controls. Now as you guys know on Monday is Music Mondays on Twitter and uh, so you're able to tweet what you're uh, listening to on Mondays. But you can do it on any day, but Monday it'll add the hash marks for you. So first, let's go into settings and let's go to face the music here. And here you'll be able to put your uh, username and your password for Twitter. You can have auto tweet on or auto tweet off for uh, Twitter and Facebook. We're gonna turn it off. And this is the auto timer so you can decide how long um, you're in the application before it automatically tweets. We're gonna leave those off for now. Okay. So uh, let's go right into the, um, well, let's get back in there for a second. Here's Face the Music again. Again, Twitter, share the music automatically. And then uh, you've got your Facebook also. Okay, so let's go back into the application. Okay, we open up uh, Face the Music, and this is 2.0. And as you can see right now, uh, I'm listening to Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. I don't have it turned up because I don't want to have to edit out the music for copyright infringement. But let's kind of go over everything we've got here. So here is I'm listening to Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen, al the greatest hits album. And as you can see in the lower right-hand corner there, it tells you that there's 88 characters, so it'll fit in our 140 maximum character. Here, this little um, music note, okay, will bring up all your music. So you can choose which song you may want to listen to right within the app, which is pretty cool. Also here, you have your controls. So you can either turn it up, turn it down, or pause it. So we'll pause it, we'll be done. And here, you can either um, Twitter, Facebook status, or share the song via email. So you can share it on Twitter and Facebook, or you can so, uh, share it via email. Okay. And here, you have your Twitter connection. Okay, you are connected to Twitter as Nerf Squeezer, and Facebook, should tell me my Facebook connection. Yes, there it is. Facebook connection, I'm connected to Facebook as Tom Moshe. So there's two different uh, buttons here. Okay, there's the Facebook checkbox. So I want to post it to Chip. Facebook and I want to post it to Twitter. Then what you do while you're listening to your music, okay, and again, you can listen to your music right in the app, okay, and I, oh, there we go. Okay, and we're going to turn that down again. While you're listening to your music, you hit post, posting the Facebook and Twitter, and there you go, and you're all done, guys, and then it'll move on to your next song, and if you want to post the next song, so be it. So guys, uh, this is the app Face the Music. Again, it's in the App Store for 99 cents. The thing that I really like about this is uh, not only does it have your iPod controls within the app, so you don't have to keep exiting the app, going to your iPod, then going back to the app, all that to post. It does it for you. It'll also add the hash mark uh, Music Monday on Mondays. It'll add hash Music Monday. So that's pretty cool too. Um, you can either post to Twitter and Facebook, Twitter or Facebook, Facebook or Twitter, whatever it may be. So guys, um, pretty good app for 99 cents. They've really uh, made some improvements. When it first came out, it was uh, not very reliable, but now it's it's been spot on. So if you're someone that likes to share the music that you're listening to uh, with uh, Facebook and Twitter, this is the one for you. So let's go back to the icon again. Let me show it to you. It is called face the music. Again, it's 99 cents in the app store. So uh, go check it out if that's something that you're interested in. All right, guys, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com. Uh, make sure that you guys follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. And um, if you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer. So our next app review will be the Sling Player Mobile. Okay. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. And as always, have a great day.